don't worry. I will not kill her. The time has not yet come. I will bid you farewell for today. Let us meet again, Valkyrie Force. She... she disappeared! She disappeared just now, right? If that's what you saw too, then sure. Okay. Who the hell is that woman? Hey, I... hang on! Are you alright? Why? I? Big sister. Why? <laughs> that is all for my report. Thank you. A human that can freely chimerize. Can technology like that even exist? I don't know, but I know what I saw. Without missing a beat, Soul turned her arm into a chimera's. It was unreal. That woman. I. Was it really? Yeah. That. Soul. It's her. Taiki, it really is. It's Yoko. I can't believe it's been three years. Yoko? How? I don't understand it either. Why is my sister part of something that endorses chimerization? She had such a kind heart. How did this happen? I'm sorry, Director. Yakumo is far more exhausted than usual. May she take leave for today? Of course I. You're dismissed. Get some rest and try not to worry about any of this for a moment. Yes, of course. I apologize. Please excuse me. I'm sorry if my request was out of line, sir. Nonsense. It was her sister, Shiramine. A blood relative. I can't imagine what kind of shock she's going through. Those sisters were so close. To think Yoko would become the enemy. Sir, we'll need to look into this immediately. If they have chimerization tech, we need to be prepared. Right. But keep this investigation a secret. If word of it spreads, people may begin seeking out their group. But that couldn't be... History tells us that humans are incredibly selfish creatures. The forbidden fruit is sweet, Shiramine. Sir, you're referring to the story of Adam and Eve. Eve. Indeed. The original sin. The banishment from paradise. Humans cannot escape the temptation of the Tree of Wisdom's fruit. Valkyrie Force will return to duty. Make sure to report even the smallest findings of Quo Vadis. Also, take care of I. I no longer have the freedom to do so from my position. But you can, as her captain. Of course, sir. Understood. Whew. Guess it... feeling better? Yes, I am. Thank you for asking. That's good. 
Okay, that's all I wanted to know. I'll be going now. Rest well, all right? Huh? You're leaving already? Uh, well, I just came to check up on you, so... <sighs> uh, um, then could we speak for a moment? Yes, please. I have something I have to tell you as well, Captain. As a member of Special Force Valkyrie, I will report all knowledge I possess of the woman called Soul. I understand. Please do. Soul, or Yoko Yakumo, is my older sister by two years. She went missing three years ago. Missing? What happened? A few months before she disappeared, she had been in an accident. It took a lot of the joy out of her. I remember the day. It was just another hospital visit, nothing unusual. But when I arrived, she was gone. I searched for her for so long, Captain. We anticipated the worst, but I wanted to believe she was still out there somewhere. That's why I was happy when the Valkyrie system chose me. I thought I'd find my sister with the military's help, but... That's all right. I understand. Thank you for telling me. Captain, what should I do? I'm happy she's alive, but I'm a soldier who fights Chimera. I'm not in a position to help her. I... I... Let's find your sister first. We'll take it one day at a time and cross that bridge when we get there. Okay. Go rest already. What you need right now is sleep. If you can't sleep, do you think a lullaby might help? A lullaby, Captain? You sing? <laughs> Just trying to imagine it makes me feel a little better. What do you mean? I was always pretty good at music in school, you know. Then let me hear it another time. It'd be a little embarrassing to have a guy I hardly know see me sleeping. Oh, right, of course. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. Sleep well, then. Yes. Good night. She seems pretty down. There has to be some way to cheer her up. Aha! A midnight rendezvous with I, Cap? Don't get the wrong idea. This isn't what it looks like. She's depressed from the run-in with Soul, so I was just trying to cheer her up. That's all. Ah, oh, right, right. You're just so thoughtful, Captain. Careful, I might fall in love with you myself. Now, Yuki Kazumi. Two months' pay will be cut from your salary immediately. What? Well, can't you take a joke? Hey, hey, man. If you're really trying to cheer her up, just give I some sweets. Sweets? Of course. Thanks, Kazumi. Glad I could help. But uh, if you really want to thank me, maybe you could give me a raise? That's above my pay grade, soldier. I don't have the ability to authorize that. See ya! have authority to issue pay cuts? What? I said she liked cakes with lots of icing on them. Also, black tea and scones. But what is the problem here? Why is this not allowed? I did mention that I would like to have these, yes? I told you, if you don't pay the proper amount of money, I can't give you these products. I know that voice. Pay money? What on earth do you mean? Luna? What are you doing? Oh, Captain, impeccable timing. This person is speaking nonsense, and it's quite troubling. You're the one speaking nonsense? Do you know this woman? Could you please hurry and pay for her things? Um, what? I don't think I understand what's going on. I've taken quite a liking to these clothes. I thought I would carry them back to my room. I don't really care what she does if you just pay for the clothes, sir. She keeps trying to walk off with them. Excuse me? This is how I always obtain new clothing. I don't see the issue here. Luna, is this the first time you've ever been shopping by yourself? Yes. And aside from this, 
It's been such a thrilling experience. I'm truly alone, without my grandfather or any escorts. Oh, I get it. I guess your escorts were the ones paying this whole time. Miss, how much are these? Huh? Oh, uh, it comes to 80,000 marks. 80,000? This flimsy cloth is 80,000? These clothes are cute as well. Yue would love them. She just adores cute things. Let us bring these to her. N absolutely not! I hereby forbid independent action by Luna Ichinomiya. Captain's orders. <sighs> I'm quite tired. After this much shopping, I'm not surprised. Next time you walk around, make sure you have money, alright? Does this mean I should walk around with you, Captain? What? How'd you arrive at that thought? Hmm. Well, I haven't the slightest idea how to use money, after all. <sighs> Good grief. Why would the daughter of a rich family like yours join the military in the first place? That's simple. It's because the Valkyrie system chose me. But with your family's prestige, couldn't you have refused? We have reserve members, like Hazuki. When you were appointed to your position, Captain, what did you think? Well, I was happy, I think. It was like my strength was actually recognized. Likewise. For the first time in my 19 years of life, it was as if I meant something more than my last name. My worth has only ever been recognized because of the Ichinomiya family. I am served upon and revered because I was born into this family. Who I am or what my abilities are changes nothing. No matter where I go, the only thing of importance to people is my name. You reacted to my name as well, did you not? Uh. It is a natural, understandable reaction. But the Valkyrie system chose me alone for my worth and not for my name. I will continue to fight the Chimera as the Valkyrie wishes me to. That is the only worth to my existence. Does this reasoning satisfy you? Everyone has their own reasons for fighting, I suppose. But if possible, I'd like you to find another reason to fight. Another reason? It could be anything. 
Maybe the reward of a delicious meal or returning to a loved one after battle. I don't know. Anything's fine. Just something other than the Valkyrie. I think it'll make you stronger on the battlefield. Hmm. Let's head back soon. It's getting cold. I understand what you are trying to say, Captain. With no other attachments, I will die easily on the battlefield, yes? No, that wasn't what I was... But that is the joy of it as well. If I can die as Valkyrie wishes, then I will die with a smile upon my face. 